Good morning, everyone. Well, here we are in the middle of our second week of January, and the time just keeps on slipping through. Today, I'd like to focus on a passage of scripture from Ephesians chapter 1, and it goes along with our focusing on the theme of being thankful people. Paul, in his letters to his churches, always somewhere talks about how he is praying for them and he's thankful for them. And it's no different here in Ephesians chapter 1, verses 15 to 18, where he says this, Ever since I heard of your strong faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for God's people everywhere, I have not stopped thanking God for you. I pray for you constantly, asking God, the glorious Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give you spiritual wisdom and insight so that you might grow in your knowledge of God. I pray that your hearts will be flooded with light so that you can understand the confident hope he has given to those he has called, his holy people, who are his rich and glorious inheritance. I love how Paul not only says he gives thanks for them and that he's praying for the people, but he specifically talks about what he's praying for them, asking that God would give them a spirit of wisdom and revelation that they might be able to know God better. What an amazingly profound thing to pray for anyone. And I know at the end of these videos, I always say praying for you, and I, I am and I do. I pray for you. And one of the things that I constantly pray for each of, of those that are under my care, I pray that you all will be able to receive that understanding of how much you are loved by your Heavenly Father, by our Heavenly Father. And that in understanding how much you are loved, that you will overflow with gratitude and with thanksgiving. And you will give praise to God because He is doing awesome things in your life and the lives of those that you know. God bless you as you today consider this prayer of Paul and the ways that he and me and others who pray for you are inviting you to consider how deep and how wide and how grand and how glorious are the things that God has provided for those who believe in and trust in him. God bless you, church. Hope you're having a great week praying for you today.